puppy, the first thing I do is kind of do some research on their parents. Here's a female. She just won the 2003 NBHA National Championship. Her name's L. Busy B. Uh, as you can see, she's a she's not a real big dog, but she's a compact dog. She's got straight legs. She's got a nice straight tail. She's real athletic. Regardless of what breed that you uh, choose to to hunt with, yeah. that's kind of what what I look for. Uh, you want now she may look a little thin to you, but she's just got done running a two hour steak, and but she's in shape. That's also what you want to keep in mind when you hunt your dog uh, that you don't have them too fat, and you got to have them in shape. Okay. Also talking as we've been talking about checking the parents out when picking a puppy, uh, one main reason is there's so many inherited traits, such as pointing style, running style, what kind of nose they got, hunting instinct, their pointing instinct, backing instinct, and also temperament. And some dogs uh, train easier than other dogs. So when you get a puppy, and you have kids, you should let the kids play with them. That doesn't hurt them a bit. That socializes them. That's probably one of the best things for them. You know, it's good to take them for walks. You know, take them out in the woods or out in the pasture and let them get used to going through creeks and under a fence. Uh, sometimes I'd carry a wing with me and, and throw it down and start getting them to point a little bit. <laughs> and another important thing is, is when you do get a puppy, make sure you keep them up on their shots and worming. And probably the most important thing is to feed them a good feed. Don't feed the cheapest feed, but feed a good feed.